Hi, it's me, Daphne, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about all the books I hope to read in September. So, my friend Sasha from Sash Reads is hosting a readathon in September called the Thick Thighs Readathon. I'm not going to be a co host or anything, but I do really want to participate and I want to talk to you about it if you guys are also interested. And it's hosted between September 11th through the 17th. So, the idea of this is to read books with curvy plus size characters. I love romances and I do have a couple thicker characters on my TBR. So I'm excited to have the perfect excuse to read a couple of them back to back. So let me tell you about them. <laughs> so the first book I'm interested in reading for the Thick Thighs Readathon is Games with the Orc by Katherine Moon. So this is pretty much about our heroine Sunny. She, for whatever reason, is trying to like discover her sexuality or whatever and she takes the help of this monster smash agency and gets paired up with this talented orc. It looks like his name is Kellar. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what I'm going to go with. She's his client, right? Like he's supposed to like teach her things or like just give her a good time. It says, guiding and experience Sunny into a new realm of extreme pleasure should be easy, simple. All he has to do is follow her requests, play his part, and not form a mating bond. But Sunny is orc bait and Kalar is more than even her wildest dreams could concoct. It kind of reminds me of the Kiss Quotient where like they start off with having a very sexual relationship and it's professional and then they slowly fall in love after that. So I really love that dynamic in the Kiss Quotient. So looking forward to this. And then next I recently downloaded The Roommate Risk by Talia Hibbert and I'm pretty sure I got this for free. It was like just one of those random Amazon days where things just go up for free for like one day. This is about two friends. So her name is Jazz and his name is Rual I believe and for whatever reason Jazz as, like something's wrong with her place and she asks Ruwal if she can stay with him and he says yes but she doesn't know that he has been in love with her for years and he's just so tempted by her and he's like oh my god I shouldn't have never said yes to like let her stay here because like she's gonna find out that I'm in love with her and that like I'm so attracted to her and all this stuff and it just sounds so freaking cute. It is the third book in a series, The Midnight Heat Collection. So I hope that doesn't like distract me because <laughs> usually I like to read things in order. I think it'll be fine. And I'm just so excited. This man on this cover is very handsome. She's beautiful and I just love pining so much. I think it's gonna be so good. Wow, can you tell I'm excited about it? <laughs> and I don't even know why I'm that excited because I read um, Talia Hibbert's Chloe Brown book. It's the only one I read from her and like that was fine. Like I didn't love it. <laughs> I know everybody else like loves that series but I just read the one and I was like I don't know. I didn't really vibe um, with the writing style but hopefully I can really connect with this one because the plot setup is really cute and I'm excited about it so hopefully it clicks. <laughs> The next book I'm really excited to read is Yearning for Her by Tiffany Roberts. This is a husband-wife writing duo. I read their other book, Ensnared, which is like a alien spider human romance. Did I read the second one? I might have only read the first one and there was like a lot of like extra political plot and stuff that was like whatever whatever, but the actual romance I was really vibing with. So excited to try something else by them. So apparently our human woman Willow got cheated on by her boyfriend. So she's really upset and she ends up having like this one night stand with this incubus guy. I have no idea what his name is. It does not say in the synopsis, I don't think. Kyan? Kyan? Yeah. And he's 400 years old apparently. It's just like a one night stand situation, but all of a sudden they are both wanting more, even though they agreed no strings attached. So just sounds like a fun time. And honestly, there'll probably be a lot of plot in it based on Tiffany Roberts writing style in the past. So it'll probably be smutty, but also have like more to it. Um, so I'm intrigued. I absolutely love this cover. I love that she has purple hair and does he also have wings? I did not know Incubus has had wings, but I'm very excited for that as well. And then if I'm being honest, that's probably as many books as I could even hope to read in a week span. <laughs> that's already three books, but let's just throw on some extra ones for your information, for me if I just am mood reading, whatever, whatever. If you're looking for like thick thigh romances. Another one I'm intrigued by is Teach Me by Olivia Dade. 
I read her other book, what was it called? Spoiler Alert, and I really loved Spoiler Alert. Another great option. This one, however, Teach Me, is about a teacher. A teacher, two teachers that work in a high school. Oh, oh my God, this sounds so cute. I have not read the synopsis of this in so long. I just checked it out from the library. It was available, so I'm super happy about that. Oh man, I really wanna read this now. I might just be reading a lot of like plus size books throughout the whole month versus just like one week. Why leave it out one week? Okay, so this is like a grumpy sunshine romance where the woman is the grump and the guy is the sunshine. He seems like maybe a new teacher or a substitute or something. At the high school, our heroine Rose works out. His name is Martin. She has a reputation of being a bit of a guarded ice queen. And it says, she begins to see him for what he truly is, a man who's never been taught his own value. So sweet and sad. Apparently he could use a good teacher and luckily Rose is the best. So she's gonna like teach him to like value himself or something. I'm gonna cry already. So that sounds super duper cute. And yeah, I really enjoyed the emotional growth and stuff of the characters in Spoiler Alert. So I'm expecting a lot from this Teach Me. I just love that synopsis. That just sounds so cute. I'm so excited for this month. Next, the last Thick Thighs book I'm gonna mention for this TBR is If the Shoe Fits by Julia Murphy. It gives like Cinderella vibes based on like how the woman is dressed and obviously it's about shoes. But I think our main character, Cindy. Okay, it's definitely Cinderella. Her name is Cindy. She is a fashion designer. I think she focuses on making shoe designs. And for publicity, it sounds like she agrees to be on like this dating reality show as one of the women for like a bachelor guy. So I think it's like her and a bunch of women and like one bachelor and she's just doing it to get her line some publicity, da 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 da, for her shoes and stuff. It says, Turns out being the only plus size woman on a reality dating competition makes a splash and soon Cindy becomes a body positivity icon for women everywhere. And then she might find love in the process as well. I wanted to check to see if this is more of like a chick lit book, but it is labeled as romance on Goodreads. So we'll see. There's no man mentioned at all. <laughs> in the synopsis. So there may be like a touch of romance, but I have a feeling it's mostly chiclet. It's rated pretty well at a 3.97. So we'll see. I think it'll be like, if I have the extra time, maybe I'll get to this one. But I think I'm more excited about the books I mentioned before this one. But this one had been on my radar for a long time, like ever since it came out back in 2021. And I just never got around to reading it. So we'll see if I make the time. <laughs> But another good option if you're looking for like thick thigh, curvy, plus size romances. So switching gears a bit, I have my IRL book club here in my apartment building and I got the recommendation from two of our newest members. We have two men that joined the group, which is very exciting. I feel like it's been women this entire time. So to have men come in and feel comfortable to like hang out with a bunch of ladies and stuff, like props to them. I'm so pleased. Um, so we wanted to go with their pick and one of the guys suggested Mistborn and I said, heck yeah, I'm totally down for that. I've been meaning to read it anyway. I have the whole trilogy and I've never read a Brandy Sandy. So I'm excited to give it a try, but I was under the false impression that it wasn't that long because like, look at the size of this. It's just like an average mass market paperback or so I thought, but really these are Bible thin pages. And instead of like a 300 something page book, this is a 600 page book. And I just tried to see if I could get the audiobook from my library and I can't because it's, you know, weeks out on hold and it's 25 hours long. So yeah, I might have to ask them to push out the date to read this because I think our meeting will be on the 11th and I haven't started it. I don't think anyone started it. We give ourselves a month to read it, but usually people don't start reading it until the last week. But yeah, excited for this. I don't know that much about the series except for the fact that I believe the first one is a heist story and then I don't know where things evolve. And then I think there's also metal magic type stuff in it as well, but so excited to dive into Brandon Sanderson's writing and see if I really like it. And I hope I do because I own two more books by him in the series. <laughs> so this next book I'm really excited about. I was hosting a live stream the other night and one of my lovely viewers, Happily Ever Books, was reading it and they were absolutely loving it. And I was like, oh, you've just got me so hyped to read this book. So I am planning on picking up 
Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This will be my first Lucy Score, even though this is one of two books that I physically own by her, but I'm really hoping I love this because I just love the look of this entire series. I just love all the blue and the flowers. And then like the other one is pink with flowers and the newest one is like purple with flowers. And I'm just like obsessed with how they look. And I just want them to like all stack near each other and be so freaking cute and pastel on my shelves. Apparently this is between Knox and Naomi. Naomi has a twin. Her twin is really like sketchy and has a secret daughter or something and has left Naomi to care for her daughter. Um, and I think it's a small town romance and that's pretty much all I know. Naomi is also a runaway bride apparently. I feel like I always hear great things about this and I just really want to love Lucy Score because she has a ton of books. I just love the aesthetic of them and I love how chunky they are and I'll buy everything if I like her writing. So then now that just leaves one more book that I have on my TBR, but who knows if I'll actually get to it. I have it checked out from my library. I've had it checked out for a couple days, so I only have four days left with the audiobook, and that is Stolen Tongues. And this is supposed to be like a really scary, spooky book. I know Sam from Sam Donovan recently read it, and she said it was really creepy and like, <laughs> She was really scared reading it in the dark, but I only have four days left and I think it's only a nine hour audiobook, So I might just like pop it on Just to try something new and like try to get into my spooky era if that's ever gonna happen I know people are excited for fall and like reading spooky books. So I might as well give this a try We'll see I have four days to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw that on my TBR I believe this is about like a couple like going to a kind of like an Airbnb cottage and then some spooky creature is there and scaring them and then it might follow them back home. That's might be wrong, but I think that's like the vibe. All right, so that's it for my September TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Obviously it helps out my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you in another video. Bye.